Just recently I was preparing for a, a call with a group of people that I was coaching. And I had them submit questions. I wanted to find out the direction that they would like me to go. And I found that without exception, there was quite a number of them. They all had essentially the same problem. There was an imaginary wall that they were running into. They couldn't make headway. And I remember some time ago reading some material and it was pointing out that our only limitation, yours and mine, the only limitation we have is weakness of attention and poverty of imagination. You and I are creative beings. We're capable of doing absolutely phenomenal things with our life. We're capable of enjoying an incredible life, but we've got to do it ourselves. No one can do it for us. We can get help. I've never read of anyone or even heard of anyone that did anything of any consequence on their own. We do need help, but we've got to be able to focus. We've got to have strength of attention and richness of imagination. The limitation is caused by weakness of attention and poverty of imagination. But when you talk about the attention, you're talking about focus. You're talking about bringing all of your conscious attention to bear on the object that you want to reach. Werner von Braun was asked by President Kennedy what it would take to build a rocket to carry a person to the moon and bring him back safely to Earth. He said the will to do it. You see, the will is a mental faculty. It's one of our higher faculties. We have mental faculties. Most people live through their senses. They go by what they see, hear, smell, taste, touch. We have um, perception, the will, imagination, memory, intuition, reason. These are all higher faculties. Well, the will gives us the ability to take this power that's flowing into our consciousness and we can direct it. We can bring all of our conscious attention to bear on a given spot. Now, if we have a weak will, that isn't going to happen. We must strengthen our will. It's like a mental muscle. But before we get focused, we have to decide what we're going to focus on. So we want to take the ladder, which is the imagination, and bring it to the front of the game. Do you know, Napoleon Hill said the imagination is the most marvelous, miraculous, inconceivably powerful force that the world has ever known. Now you and I have an imagination. Do you know that everything you see that has been made by humankind has been first created in the mind? Everything's created twice. The camera that I'm working with right now, it was created in the mind of an individual long before it was ever created in the form that I'm looking at right now. The way we're communicating, that was all created in somebody's mind. Well, do you know that your future, your brilliant future, has to be created by your imagination. So we want to have a rich imagination. This idea of poverty of imagination has got to go. We've got to realize that we are God's highest form of creation and we are capable of doing anything we really want to do. Now, what did I say? The only limitation we have is weakness of attention and poverty of imagination. So if we take our imagination and throw all the limitations aside, don't let logic even come into the picture. The Wright brothers never let logic slow them down. Think about it. Ed Hillary never let logic stop him from going to the top of the world. Anything that has ever been done was first done in the mind. So let's get our imagination. What do you really want to do with your life? When I take a look at where I've come from and what I have created with the, with the help of everyone, my business partner and my family, it's, it's, it's mind-boggling. I live a phenomenal life, but I've created it all in my marvelous mind. There's a power flowing into your consciousness right now. It's an unadulterated creative power. And with your imagination, you can build a picture in your mind of the good that you desire. You may not have any money, you can see yourself in an abundance of it. You may not live in the home of your choice, you can see yourself in the home of your choice. You may be working at something you really don't enjoy, you can build an image of a business that you can create yourself.
And don't worry about why you can't get it. Don't even think of why you can't get it. Enjoy what you're building in your imagination. Develop richness of imagination. What did Hill say? It's the most marvelous, miraculous, inconceivably powerful force the world has ever known. And when we get this very clear, we want to take a pen then and paint the picture in words and paint it as clear as we can. And every now and then look at it and imagine it and perfect the written description. And always write it, I am so happy and grateful now that. And you describe this beautiful image that you've created in the present tense, because that's where it starts. It starts right now in your marvelous mind. And then rather than having weakness of attention, let's develop strength of attention. Let's develop our will. I remember working with a professional golfer, Ted Purdy. He's a phenomenal golfer. He's got the most beautiful swing of anybody I've ever seen. And we were, I was following him on a tour and we were in a room at a hotel that day and I talked to him about it. He said, well, how do you develop this will? I took a pencil and I put a dot on the wall. I said, just move back from that wall as far as you can, but you still see the dot. Do this opposite your favorite chair and then bring all of your conscious attention on that dot. And if your mind wanders, bring it back to the dot. Or you could light a candle, put a candle on a candle holder and focus on the flame and stay concentrating on that flame until you become one with the flame. And if your mind wanders, which it will, bring it back to the frame. Don't worry about that. Do you know, if you would do that every day, just for a few minutes, every morning and a few minutes every night, and you do it for the next three months, do you know that you would develop a will that would be incredible? You could focus on the same thing for a long period of time. That's what the great golfers do. That's what the great salespeople do. That's what all great business people do. They focus on the objective and they let the circumstance get lost. That's what Napoleon Bonaparte said. He said, you focus on the objective. That's really what you want to do. That's what you want to do. And remember what I said, the only limitation, measure this out. I want you to think about it. The only limitation is weakness of attention and poverty of imagination. Develop your imagination. Build a picture of what you want, what you really want. Let yourself get emotionally involved in it. Make a written description. Paint your picture in words and then begin to focus on it. And every time you practice focusing on it, rewrite the picture, paint it in words. And I guarantee you, you're gonna knock down all the limitations that you thought were there. They were just perceived limitations. They weren't real at all. They were illusions. If you knew the power that you've got locked up within you, you'd walk around with a smile on your face all day long. And all these ideas about what we can't do and why we can't do it, you'd never rent space in your mind for any of that stuff. You want to develop powerful focus and a rich imagination. Watch this video often. Play it over and over again. Burn it into your mind. And I guarantee you, you'll find your productivity going up, your income improving, your relationships getting stronger, because you're going to get to know you better. This is Buck Proctor. Check us out at proctorgallagherinstitute.com for tips, tools, and resources.